Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is possibly my most colorful thrift haul I think I've ever had. Uh, don't worry, I still have some grays and blacks and I'll show those at the end, but I actually picked up quite a few items, including the one I have on right now, which were just colorful and fun and they brought a smile to my face. So I don't have this in any particular order. I did pull out the colorful items first. Um, so if you like content around Poshmark and eBay or just reselling in general, and you aren't subscribed, definitely consider hitting the subscribe button down below. And if you like thrift hauls or specifically colorful thrift hauls and you want me to pick up more color, um, hit the thumbs up, let me know. I appreciate it. So I walked into a store and within one second, not one second, but like within the first minute, I darted back to the shoes and on my way back to the shoes, I spotted this. And this looks kind of crochet-ish, but it's not. It's actually very warm, not, not ideal for an 80 degree summer day, but it does, it's a cape. So it's got the little armholes right here. I'm not going to use those because it opens up quite a bit, but it's just this absolutely stunning, beautiful cape. The other thing about this is I believe it's reversible. So the print on the other side, you can't distinguish between one side or the other. Um, it's, it's slightly more colorful. I prefer this side, so I'm going to wear this, but I am eventually going to resell this. I don't know when. I would like to maybe potentially get some photos this fall with it on um, because I do have a YouTube channel and an Instagram. If I maybe update some of my photos that are old um, and maybe have something colorful that will just bring a smile to my face, I would love to do that. And I might also wear it. We're not doing much these days, but if I can, can have an opportunity to wear it, I'm absolutely in love, love with it. It's too warm for summer, so I'm hoping that maybe I will get this listed this fall, but I don't often find items that I love so much. I don't think I would keep this for the long haul because I do think this is worth something. I can't find exact comps for this exact thing because I, I think this is vintage and kind of possibly one of a kind, but I just wanna get a little use out of it before I sell it. So this is the first item. And it's a little awkward <laughs> because it's a cape. So we're just gonna, we're gonna try and work with it. All right, so next up was also a really unusual item. And I found quite a few skirts that appear to be handmade. Um, and all of them were pretty colorful, but they were all full price. This whole day, I, I don't know what I spent this entire day. I didn't grab the receipt, but everything, I think the average cost of goods this day was a little over $6. So this was before they brought dollar days back down in LA. Um, and so the, the higher price, you know, you have to be a little bit selective or at least I was, but this and a number of other skirts were super colorful. This is a maxi skirt. It's got, it's just so, so, so well made, so colorful. I picked out my favorite one that I wanted and, um, I thought, well, if they've got more of them for dollar day, I'll come back and, and try and get them for dollar day. They already sold most of them. I did get two more in, in a dollar day haul, but uh, this is just absolutely fun and um, I, there's no size. It just has kind of that homemade feel. There's no brand, there's no size. I would say based off of the waist, this is probably close to like a 10. So I'll just have to provide measurements, but I absolutely loved that. Already the cape is, the cape is good for photos, I think. I don't, nece I don't necessarily know if I could wear this all the time, but all right. So this is another unusual piece. This does have a tag and I did find one exactly like this um, listed on Poshmark. I wanna say she listed it for 69 or 74 or something. It just says hand knit by Colleen Davis. And that's, it doesn't have a size, it doesn't have material, but it's this very, very colorful um, short sleeve sweater and it just feels really well made and just a fun kind of abstract, abstract print. So I could only find the one listed. I listed a little lower. I think I started this at 49, but um, it's adorable. So I feel like I should take off the cape because I'm starting to get really toasty. So I think I'm gonna do that. I'll be right back. Okay, much better, <laughs> a little bit lighter weight. So I did just wanna show you the inside of this because I don't think I did it any justice. So the inside or the other side, I think it's completely reversible, is this kind of more colorful print. And then this is the other side and it just has a single tie. It has the little armholes. Again, this, it, it does have, I think a couple very, very small poles, but I don't know if you can pick up how well made this is. This side might actually be easier. It's not crochet. It's very heavy. It's very thick. 
um, and it's very warm. So I still need to do research, but I'm going to get some use out of it before I, before I sell it. I might put it on auction. I do have someone who, when I picked it up, I knew she would love it. Uh, she's one of my Instagram friends. And so I know she's interested in it. I just need to do more research, but until then I'm going to enjoy it in my closet and hopefully get some photos of it. But okay. So we got the skirt, we got the knitted top. <laughs> We've got me not so such a heavy thing. Okay, so this is a Trina Turk. I've sold one almost identical to this. So Trina Turk, this is like a little beach cover up or mini dress. It has these kind of flowy sleeves and it's kind of a fitted style, but it feels very boho, super colorful. I don't pick up all Trina Turk, but some of these really colorful dresses I have sold a couple times. So. I picked that one up. This is one, I don't know, I don't think this is gonna do particularly well, but it just, it's like the perfect fall piece. It is an expensive item, it's just not a brand that I've had much luck with. Where are you? I just saw a tag, didn't I? There we are. Okay, so this is a really oversized, super, super soft, kind of has that eyelash, eyelash fringe, uh, very, very oversized, not very heavy, but just soft. So this is BCBG Max Azria. The size on this is medium large. Because it's oversized, I would say this is more of like a XL to possibly one X and yeah, unless you want it just super oversized. But uh, I just, because it's so soft, because you touch it and you're just like, this is gonna make someone so happy in the fall. It's kind of got the turtleneck and I loved it. So I don't know how I'm, how I'm gonna price that, but I know it's gonna find a new home. I just thought the color was so fun and so. All right, I don't have as many colorful items as I thought, but I do have those. We've been colorful so far, so. All right, this is a vintage L.L. Bean red puffer vest. It's goose, fill, goose, filled, goose down filled. And here's the vintage L.L. Bean tag. This is a men's size medium, but I'm sure, you know, women's large could also work. But some of these vintage vests, puffer vests by L.L. Bean do quite well in that 50 range, I believe. I can't remember where I started this, but uh, I picked this up because it's a fun color. Winter's coming and it's vintage. Okay. This is technically colorful, but it's just a colored plaid. This is marine layer plaid shirt. This is a size small. I think a men's small and just a fun little plaid shirt for fall and winter. And I have all, I will have all of these listed. So if you want to know how I price things, I price things to allow room, some room for offers, but um, yeah, everything should be listed by the time this video goes up. All right. So there were actually, I think six Robert Graham shirts, women's shirts. And I know some people say Robert Graham, you know, they don't sell like they used to. I mean, keep in mind, I sold Robert Graham shirt, men's shirt for, I want to say 125, 150, somewhere in that range. Um, and I, and, and I, I mean, so it, it really depends on the style. The more colorful, the better, the more eccentric, the better. The women's shirts are more in that 20 to 30 range for me. So I just picked out one. I've sold a couple blue and green women's shirts, but I haven't sold kind of a reddish burgundy color, but it does have some nice embroidery right here and down here. And so I just decided I'd grab one since they were all full price and just, you know, add to the assortment of color. Okay. So not as colorful but still technically a color these boots i may have started them a little too high but i couldn't find any exactly like it and they are an expensive brand and i i don't think these are my size i think these are too small i would 100 percent keep these if these were my size because they're green because they are just they're they look like they're comfortable they're in excellent condition they have this tie accent but they're just kind of riding style boot now it's going to be hard to show you probably the brand. Um, yeah, it's going to be really hard, but we'll, we'll give it a shot. So if you can see in there, I'll try and get a little closer. It's got the big S and then underneath the big S it's Sendra, S-E-N-D-R-A. And it says, uh, Maine, Spain. What else does it say? It just says Sendra boots, Maine, Spain. So I didn't recognize it. When I Googled it, I was like, oh, these are probably $300 boots. Now comps, I couldn't, I, a lot of them are cowboy style boots. 
I couldn't find many riding boot style, but they are in excellent condition. Um, the size, oh, here's, here's another look at the logo. Uh, so they seem to be a pretty desirable, especially with the cowboy style boots, uh, really well made. These are a seven, no, six and a half. Yeah, six and a half. So too tiny for me, but they have an inside zipper closure. Absolutely great. Few, few marks. I mean, they're not brand new, but they're definitely in really great shape and just really great quality. So I priced those high to start um, because I couldn't find anything exactly like it, but we'll see. All right. Any more color? Not really. Everything else is kind of neutral. This is technically a blue, but it's kind of a neutral blue. Okay, so this is an adorable dress by the brand Solitaire. It's kind of a boutique, sometimes sold at Anthropology brand. This is a very boho, very adorable dress, kind of peasant dress. It does have a tie at the waist that goes on the back of the waist. I absolutely love this brand. It doesn't have the strongest resale value on everything, but some of it can do well. So I would say if you find it, look up similar styles or try and find the exact style, but love this dress, love the sleeves, and I hope I hope it finds a great new home. Another one, then, if it were my size. All right, so I think everything else is kind of neutral, but that's a lot of color for me, and it was just, my cart was just overflowing with fun, so. All right, so here is a chambray top, just a popover top, it's a really great fall staple piece by Vince. And I don't think there was, there were a couple items that were 50% off and there were a couple items that were 25% off. But like I said, it was kind of a high price day for me. These are a pair of cycling shoes. I pick up a lot of cycling stuff when I see it and I recognize the brand because I have done a lot of cycling in my life. So I know the value. It's a very expensive sport and shoes are not cheap. Pearl Zumi is not that most high end. So um, but these are in great condition. They have been used. You put the clips, someone can put their own clips in and that's what that all those are. But you can tell with cycling shoes, the wear on some of these plastic parts. Uh, so this definitely doesn't have any substantial wear and I looked up the style. So they're, they're listed correctly, but these are men's cycling shoes, probably in that 40 to 50 range, if I recall correctly, but all right, this is adorable. I, I think it's a boutique brand but I just picked it up based off of style, easy to photograph, very boho. The couple solds I found on Poshmark were boutique, meaning they were new and they were in the boutique section. Um, so I don't know where this was originally sold, but chandelier. And was there a size? I don't think there was, oh yeah. Uh, yeah, no size. So it's just kind of a one size fits most, probably you know that small medium is what I would guess, whoops but absolutely loved it with a little star print, a little crochet, so. All right, this was a new brand to me and I believe it sold on Revolve, the website, but it's super down. And it's just a cropped long sleeve little top. So nothing too exciting, but we'll give that brand a shot. I've never picked it up. This is a Lululemon waterfall cardigan. And I sold one exactly like this recently. Um, this, the tag is cut out, but whenever I see a tag like that, and also you could just kind of feel, I immediately went to go look for, does, is this the Lululemon? Does this have the little uh, logo? And it does, it's right down there. So this one unfortunately doesn't have any pockets. And with the last one, I think the hang tag was still on so I could determine the price, or not the price, the size. This one I already know is larger than the, the last one I had. Um, so I would say, oh geez, I would say this is probably, oh, they have thumbnails, which is awesome. This is probably because it can fit me and I, and it's open and it's, you know, so it's not like it's exactly my size, but I would say it's probably in the eight to 12 range, probably eight to 10 is my guess. So yeah, just a really great basic, especially if someone wants that, you know, item to go over all their workout outfits and they just love Lululemon. I know it's got a style name, but I don't remember it off the top of my head. 
And this one I know is on sale or I wouldn't have picked it up, but it's not branded. I just really, I thought it was kind of fun and nice little vest. Uh, it doesn't have any branding. It doesn't have any size, but I thought it was adorable. And so I decided to give it a shot. All right, this is, I thought actually maybe I would keep this. I'm always on a mission to find black lightweight jackets um, because that's kind of what I live in in the winter. But uh, I thought this was really nice. This is the Carrie Under, Under, Underwood, is that her name? The country singer. This is her logo. So it's Kalia, C-A-L-I-A. Anyways, I di didn't have a size. Uh, that I could find. It didn't have any tag because the tag was cut out. Uh, it's a little too snug. Like it's, it's, it's a fitted and I, I don't, I want it just a little less fitted, like semi fitted. So I'm not going to keep it. I'm going to sell it, but I think it's probably in that medium to large size and just, you know, fitted if you're my size. Okay. So I'm still warm from wearing that cape. Probably going to warm all day from just wearing that for, you know, 20 minutes. So this is T, this is Alexander Wang, the T line. This is a, just a racer back. This was on sale as well. I just happened to pop over to the tanks. I was looking for maybe a couple tanks for myself that were cheap and I didn't find anything for myself, but I thought, well, this kind of got a little bit of burnout. Uh, I have had decent luck with Alexander Wang, so I didn't spend much on it. I'm not going to get, I'm not expecting much, maybe in that 20 range, but still it's summer. All right, this is absolutely beautiful. And I I have sold this designer. It's a, I believe it's a Parisian or French designer. Ger, Gerard, Daryl. Anyways, it's a beautiful dress. Absolutely love the sleeves and the neckline. It's got a little bit of elastic at the waist. And I can't remember the translation of 40. I wanna say this is a US size 10 equivalent but it's just a little black dress and it's adorable. So another little black dress, this was on sale. That's why I picked it up. It's theory, size zero, little shift dress, sleeveless shift dress. It's super mini. So I feel like this would be really great for a petite, but all right, I got two. Yes. Okay. So I got two by this brand and I've sold this brand before and some of the stuff could do really well. This tea is not going to do as well as the other item, but it's a polis. I've sold some shorts. I've sold a jacket. Um, so I've sold a couple items from this brand and this shirt, I can't remember the name of it. Does it say it on here? It's cotton knits. Yeah. So it's a XXL, which is great. This shirt I think is in that 20 to $25 range. This jacket, however, this is actually more valuable. I think I listed this at 124 and it has a flaw. Did it have a flaw? I think it had a flaw and I still listed it high. So this is same designer or same brand, Apollos Global Citizen. But <laughs> the nice thing is, is they have the style written on the inside, which is very helpful. So this is the Indigo Wool Chore Jacket. So just by looking up that specifically, not just the brand, helped me learn that a lot of these were selling in that 100 range and very sought after. I know I have a couple watchers on it already, but it's just a black button front jacket for men. And it has kind of these utility pockets and stuff like that. A little hard to see with black. But anyways, I was excited to find that one and hopefully it sells this fall winter because I can't remember what the flaw was. I want to say it was like a missing button or something. Or maybe it wasn't, no, no, it's got a small hole in it somewhere. But I think I said um, that it was kind of repairable. Now I'm not gonna be able to, so I think, I think it had a small hole. I'm not gonna be able to find it. But anyways, I listed it correctly. If there is something, or if I'm just now making stuff up, which is highly possible. Okay, so this is All Saints for Men. This is a button front shirt, but the neckline, you could either button it all the way up and it kind of is more of a turtleneck style, or you could keep it unbuttoned and it kind of folds over. But All Saints for Men, um, this is size medium. And I know 
what I love about All Saints is their material tags always have the style name. So this is called the Plain Keaton Funnel Shirt. So it kind of funnels up around the neck. So navy blue, button front, another good item for fall, winter for, for men. This one I wasn't sure what to do with, to be honest, but it's so tiny. It's just this little knit and it has a lot of stretch. So, you know, small, extra small, I, it would be just fine, just a fitted style. But the tag looked intriguing and I've never seen this tag before, this designer. I think it's a designer item. I couldn't find much. I need to do a little bit more research, but um, yeah, it's just kind of a knit top. So, and that one definitely didn't cost much because I took a risk on it because it didn't cost much. Okay, a few more items. This one is missing the drawstring, but it is a hoodie and the brand is called Lifted Research Group and some of their stuff can do really well. This sweatshirt, I believe I want to say in that $30 to $40 range resold, um, but some of their stuff is $50 to $100. So new to me, sweatshirt, hoodie, brand, and we'll see how that does. I've never seen it before, so... All right, another sweater, all these sweaters. Oh, this was a really expensive designer, a men's sweater. So B-O-G-L-I-O-L-I. -L -L it's a gray pullover sweater, nothing super exciting. I can't remember what I looked up, but some of this stuff was being sold retail in the thousands. And so new to me brand, uh, this is just, I can't even read it. I think it's a wool. Um, but kind of basic, but we'll give this a shot as well. All right. Last item is just a little Madewell top. I didn't realize at the time, I think this might be a pajama top, but you could wear it, you know, just as a regular top. So it's just a striped tee. I know this was on sale or I wouldn't have grabbed it, but, uh, I mean, who doesn't like stripes? So anyways, I think that's it. It was a fun half day, some colorful things and yeah, be sure to hit the thumbs up if you like the thrift hauls. I know this is a little bit more eccentric for me um, and I don't know how I'm gonna price everything, but I was really excited about this day and yeah. So anyways, I'll see you guys soon. Hope everyone's doing well, bye.